In this presentation, we are going to look at the Pareto distribution, or more specifically, the Pareto Type 2 distribution, also known as the Lomax distribution. Now, this is the one that you might sort of encounter more uh, in financial maths or actuarial science, the Pareto Type 2 distribution. But just to know that there's actually other types of Pareto distribution, and they have different specifications. And so the engineering students might know the Type 1 distribution a bit better. Anyway... Derive the median of a Pareto type 2 distribution with parameters alpha and lambda, and then let alpha equal to 2 and lambda equal to 3. Comment on the skewness of this distribution. Essentially, what we're going to do there is compute the mean and the median for alpha equal to 2 and lambda equal to 3. Okay. Now, so essentially what we have to do is sort of consult the tables here. Okay. Now, what we're going to look at is the cumulative distribution function. Okay. This is the probability of x being less than or equal to some value x, okay? And remember, we're dealing with the median. So when x is the median, that should equal to 0 0.5, okay? Now, this is the main expression that we have over here, or the expression that we need. 1 minus the fraction of lambda divided by lambda plus x to the power of alpha, okay? Uh, just as a remark, I do actually have the mean and the median spelled out in this little revision table. So we have the mean here, alpha, divi sorry, lambda divided by la uh, la uh, lambda divided by alpha minus one. Also the median down here, which is lambda times the alpha root of two minus one. Okay, or put that another way. Lambda times 2 to the power of 1 over alpha minus 1. Okay. Lambda times 2 to the power of 1 over alpha minus 1. Now, honestly, this is not a hard one. Okay. So just remember the median. I put a, I just, that's a capital X there. Median, denote that as M. So the probability, let's write that out again made a mess of that probably of x less than or equal to the median is a half okay so uh, also the probability of it being greater than or equal to the median is also a half uh, by the way this is a continuous distribution so the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to there's a bit of a fudge there okay so m is the median okay uh, so here's how we start off the cumulative distribution function. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is get the complement of that, which is say x greater than the probability of x greater than the median. Okay, and that is equal to lambda divided by lambda plus x to the power of alpha. Okay. And that is equal to about one half. So essentially what we have to do here is just rearrange this expression here. And that's it, really. It's not a long calculation. So when x is equal to m, that uh, that whole expression is equal to one half. I just realized I could be a bit clearer about the progression from here to here. So I just actually wrote in some intermediate steps. So essentially what I do here, just to start off, is I invert it. Lambda divided by lambda plus x, or lambda plus m. When I invert both sides, um, I get lambda plus m over lambda uh, to the power of alpha. And I invert the other side, and I get 2 to the power of 1. When we invert that, it's 2, okay? So that's a not-so-obvious step, but that's a perfectly valid step there, okay? So just inverting this and this, okay? Uh, that's it. So then it's a case of very straightforward steps there, but it actually that's the one key one that's probably not so obvious to beginners, that first step there. After that, it's straightforward uh, um, al uh, algebraic uh, operations. So uh, get the alpha root of both sides, basically, you know, uh, reduce the power to one on the left hand side, and then it is that makes it two to the power of one over alpha on the right hand side, 
and then just multiply both sides by lambda and then that should be uh, finish it off okay okay i just reset there and uh, so essentially th that should be clear as to how we get to the median that expression for the median now what we're going to do here is let alpha equal to 2 and lambda equal to 3 and just calculate the mean and the median so calculate the median is 3 times the square root of 2 minus 1 that gives us 1.2426 the mean is 3 divided by 2 minus 1 uh, again just to go up above that is lambda divided by alpha minus 1 okay so we get that gives us 3 this distribution has a positive skew. The mean is greater than the median. And this is what to expect from a Pareto distribution or any type of distribution like this, a long-tailed distribution with a long positive tail. Okay, that's grand. That's it.